Hello, how are you? I trust that you're all doing well. For those who've been with us for the longest, you're very grateful. Thank you so much. And if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be happy uh, if you join our team because it supports our channel. And we also keep giving you good content uh, that helps you in the growth of your uh, business here and there. So today we're going to do something entirely different. Uh, we're going to talk to you about something that we feel that you all need to know and you've raised this question over and over again so today we get to respond to you guys and give you the answer to it we're going to do this with my colleague george george, george nyaswenta chakua <laughs> karibu sana. Asante sana so today we're going to talk about hosting most of you don't even know what that means and uh, we feel it's high time you get to understand what hosting means deep africa deals with hosting uh, this is web hosting and uh, there are different types of hostings and uh, it's high time you get to understand what you're talking about. So uh, hosting is uh, the space that uh, your files that uh, compiles your website and even your emails are stored so that they are available online. Hmm? There are very many definitions. George, I don't know what's your definition of hosting. A storage. For content. Digital content. Uh -huh. Yes, that's the, the way I look at it. Okay. <clears throat> How do you look at it? Yes, it's the storage uh, for your content online to make sure that uh, your data, your files are available online. So I don't know how you'll interpret that. I pray that uh, our definition helps you understand what hosting is. And uh, for your online business, it's uh, very vital to know that for your website to be up, for your emails to be uh, online, for you to be able to send uh, your professional emails from one point to another, uh, you need hosting. So hosting is the one that does all this. So it stores your emails, it stores your website files so that uh, your clients are able to find them online. So we're going to inform you on the several uh, various types of hosting solutions that we have. And today we're not going to talk about all of them. We're just going to talk about two major ones that you need to understand how they operate, how they function and uh, wh why it's important for you to be able to differentiate the two. So we're going to talk about um, <clears throat> shared hosting and also going to talk about VPS. So for the shared hosting, George, yes. what would you say? Um, what I'm asking myself is mm -hmm. why do I need hosting, mm -hmm. right? Um, in this age where everything is going digital, and uh, with what's affecting the world right now, mm -hmm. uh, every business is getting online. Yeah. And uh, we are generating so much content. Yeah. Like right now we're shooting a video. Yeah. We're going to have it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. It needs to be hosted somewhere. Yeah. So uh, we are all generating mm -hmm. content. Uh, we are keeping our records online. Yeah. So we need this storage that uh, uh, enables us to get it whenever we want yeah. and wherever we are. Yeah. So we are in that business, Deep Africa is in that business of uh, storage of content, mm. making sure that it's available and mm. it can be accessed very fast. So um, that's why we need hosting. Yeah. And like you say yeah. very well, there yeah. are different kind of hosting. Yeah. There is dedicated, yeah. which she called VPS. Yeah. Um, it's the virtual private Sub server. Mm. Then there's shared. Yeah. Uh, we're going to talk about shared first. Mm. And um, the way I look at shared, um, a server is a box. Yeah. And uh, it has resources. Yeah. And um, it, 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 it comes at a price. And starting out a business, yeah. um, sometimes you'll balance out your investment. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look at hosting, you want to start easy. Yeah. So uh, firms like Deep Africa have come up with a solution, yeah. what we call shared, where we use one box, one server, mm -hmm. and have so many people um, use the same box. Yeah. Yeah, that's because yeah, when you're starting up, you there are resources that are located in your servers, and since you're on shared, you're having very many people in that same server mm -hmm. who don't really need a lot of resources to have their businesses online since they're they're starting up. Yes. So right. what, what makes someone to to shift from shared to a VPS, or what would you uh, explain a VPS? Um. Now uh, on shared server, mm -hmm. there's there's storage mm -hmm. uh, within that box mm -hmm. then there's the processing power mm -hmm. within that box yeah. and there are many other uh, resources. resources within that box yeah. 
So um, shared means you allocate each user individually yeah. within that box, yeah. taking care of security, yeah. taking care of you know over usage, yeah. so that everybody is able to use that um, box uh, in the same way. Yeah. So um, that's what shared is. So it's like compartments, like you have very many accounts in compartment, like you have compartment in a server that is yes. hosting so very many accounts, Yes. Uh, depending with the, uh, you actually divide the resources equally, right, on shared? Yes, it is. So uh, it is equally. in shared, you have very many accounts mm -hmm. that are using uh, equal uh, amount of resources mm -hmm. that uh, will work for them in that particular stage okay. of their business, right? Yes, yeah. and, and and within that box, you're limited. Yeah. For example, you can be told uh, a limit can be set for uh, how many emails you can send within an hour. Yeah. yeah. And we make sure that that's you know uh, manageable for most businesses who are starting out. Yeah, yeah. Now you asked about VPS. Mm. When you cross over to now a private server. Mm you control the resources okay. there's nobody else to to share the resources with mm -hmm. so whatever sort of vps you've got mm -hmm. the resources are all yours okay. so you're able to set uh for example on a shared server mm -hmm. we could say uh you know everybody is set within 100 emails per hour yeah, yeah. probably your school yeah. and uh you have a lot of you know communication to do you're sending out a thousand emails, yeah. for example, per hour. Yeah. Uh, shared will not be the best. Mm -hmm. You want to have a, v, uh, a VPS. Mm. So VPS allows you to, you know, to have Control, all the resources, yeah. the resources yeah. that you need. Yeah. yeah. So for startup business, uh, for someone who is looking, for example, someone who have never uh, been in an online business, they're just uh, getting to understand their, how online works and they want to just try out how being uh, visible online uh, works. So you don't have too much traffic at this point. Mm -hmm. You don't need to send out too many emails at this point. So for such a, a, a business owner or for such a business that is starting up, I think uh, this uh, this is where the shared hosting targets. Yes. Yes. If you're starting out, so you use their shared. But if you progress and you're getting now traffic, you need to send out a lot of emails. That's when now you transfer to a VPS. Yes. Right? VPS, yes. yes. So VPS majorly for accounts that have already been there in the market for a long time. And right now, the, their business or probably their market has grown and people are visiting their website frequently mm -hmm. than it used to. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that will be my take so that someone would understand. Uh, don't get pressure when someone tells, uh, tells you that. Uh, for your business, why are you, why, why you, why are you on shared? Why would, uh, wouldn't you not choose VPS? So the difference is just uh, if you're starting out, the preferred would be shared. But if you're already established business online, you need mm -hmm. to go to a VPS. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I think something else that we need to let our clients uh, or our viewers know is uh, the kind of resources that are located. What happens uh, the behind the scenes for your website to be up, for your emails to be able to be transferred from uh, the servers to uh, the clients and for the website to be able to be visible in your browsers. How does that work? Or how would you explain it to our viewers? Um, I haven't really gotten your question. Okay. What you're asking is mm. the resources needed on a server? No, uh, the communication, the behind the scenes. How do they get to view the website on a browser? How do they get to send out emails to their recipients? Are you asking how a server works? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's a very tricky question. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would want to avoid being very technical, yeah, please do. but um, <clears throat> we've all used browsers, yeah. and browsers is where the end user sits mm. and uh, makes a request. Yeah. For example, I want to go to and visit deepafrica.com, mm. right? Mm. I'll go on my machine, mm -hmm. it could be a phone yeah. or a laptop. Yeah and type the web address. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for example, our web address is deepafrica.com. Mm -hmm. Then the browser would pull, would make a request yeah. to the server mm -hmm. and pull that information for you. Mm -hmm. um, 
At that point, the server should be ready. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're using a shared server, mm -hmm. it should be prompt enough to to send you in, to, to send then information to the yeah, browser. Yeah. Because, um, for example, you're selling shoes, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lady seated in her living room, and she needed she, she needs to buy red shoes for an event, a wedding yeah. coming. Yeah. You say she'll come to your site, yeah. and she'll open other multiple websites. Yeah. Um, you want to make sure that your website loads very fast, faster than your competitors. Yeah, because yeah. she needs to make a decision. Yeah. If your site is slow, she'll get bored. She'll be impatient yeah. and go to the next yeah, website. Yeah. So you need a server that is, you know, uh, fast and mm. responds very fast. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know if I've answered your question, mm. but um, the technology behind the server should be sufficient enough to you know make things work very fast yeah yes so for the server it's the one in charge of the speeds uh for for your website for mm -hmm. well there are multiple things because mm -hmm. there's a pipe between your your gadget mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. and the server mm -hmm. and uh in kenya right now internets are getting crazy speeds yeah. we we are very okay with the internet yeah so those days of very slow internet uh, uh, is coming to an end mm. so uh you need to make sure you have very good connection yeah. internet yeah. then you need to make sure your your gadget is also good okay. because if you have a slow gadget mm. and it can be caused by various uh, issues mm. um you need to make sure that your gadget is good mm -hmm. and your connection is good yeah then our responsibility is to make sure that uh, we give you a server that you know is very uh, fast okay. and responds very fast yeah. yeah yeah i think there are several factors that someone should consider when you're choosing uh, a hosting plan i, I hope that uh, we are uh, we've understood what hosting is and what it does and why it's necessary and why it's important but uh, I would also want our viewers to understand uh, when you're choosing a hosting plan, mm -hmm. what, what are those things you need to look at before you just go, this is what I want, this is what I want. Because uh, outside there, we have uh, competitors. We mm -hmm. also have friends. We have uh, uh, business owners who or entrepreneurs who have been there before us and they're giving us all these sort of advices. Okay. So what, what, what would you tell our viewers? Uh, the things they need to look out for when they're choosing for a proper hosting plan okay. for what they need at that particular time. Okay. Yeah. You you actually need to look at that company's uptime. Yeah. Uptime means um, you know uh, availability of your site at yeah. all times so, yeah. online. Yeah. That's very key. Yeah. Then you need to look at the support. Are they mm -hmm. available mm -hmm. to, to to give you support at yeah. any time? Yeah. Deep Africa, we have twenty four hours support. support so we, yes. we are always there to support our, yeah. our clients. Yeah. The other thing you need to look at is uh, the cost. Mm -hmm. um, you should pay for value, the value you're getting back. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I personally avoid very cheap hosting yeah. um, because they bundle a lot of uh, clients on one server. One server yeah. And, you know, um, that causes the, the server to, to lag. Yeah. Um, you also need to look at security mm -hmm. of, of uh, the server you can't really tell if a server is secure yeah. but you need to look at the review what you know other people are saying about yeah. a specific company yeah. uh, because uh, nowadays google allows users to review and you'll see bad reviews for companies but you also need to actually look uh, critically and see what other people are saying about um, that specific That's, company yeah, yeah. then um, the other thing you, you need to look at is what they support because mm -hmm. you may want to host your website yeah. or emails. Yeah. So you need to see the threshold, the emails they can check at yeah. a time. Yeah. See if you, you are a heavy user for emails. And then you need to decide if you're getting a VPS or a shared server. So it's important to understand exactly what you need in yes. terms of solutions. Yeah, but you see, mm. um, what I've just described mm. is not common knowledge. Yeah. I know it's available online, mm. but companies like Deep Africa, we take time and walk you through yeah. and understand what you need. Yeah. Then we, we would recommend that, that, you know, where you need to start. From. Actually, first of all, we listen to you. Yes. You get to understand uh, 
are you starting up? Is it a business that has been there? Mm -hmm. So after knowing uh, exactly where you are at uh, your online business, then we give uh, we give advice. We uh, we give you solution that will work for you at that particular stage in uh, in time mm -hmm. of your business. I think Depends. the other thing that's also important mm -hmm. is uh, traffic. Yeah. Um, for example, you have an event coming yeah. and uh, you know for sure you will be having a lot of requests. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say there's a musician coming. Mm -hmm. uh, give me an example of a musician who is not Embaram Bamba. Uh, Trey Songz, uh, Chris <laughs> Brown, Rihanna. Yeah. Okay, Rihanna is coming to Kenya, yeah. and I know, I know, she's loved a lot, right? Yeah, I don't yeah, know her. She's, she's loved. loved a lot. Yeah. Um, so if you're setting up a booking website, yeah. you, you you don't want downtime. Yeah. So Not at you, that point. and at that point, you need to have enough resources. Yeah. So these are things that you need to look at. To consider. Talk to your hosting company. Yeah. Talk to Deep Africa. Yeah. Tell them exactly what you're planning to have. Okay. Then we'll be able to advise uh, what resources you need. Okay. Yeah. So by traffic you mean uh, that people will need to come to your website yes. uh, for probably a service or a product that is in need or it's in demand at that particular time or yeah. season. Yeah, they're filling out forms, yeah, okay. they're making payment, they need to get receipts on time, they need to get their bookings in time. So, And they yeah. need to be served very fast, yes. this needs to happen. It's a click on click on click. Yes. No yes. downtime, no sluggishness or on their website. You're right. So it's important to know these things. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's really important. And also, uh, when it comes to hosting, uh, I've had, uh, this is out of experience. So I've had people come to me and say, uh, I want professional emails. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, uh, what, what do you mean professional emails? Because okay. also when it comes to emails, um, we have different types of emails. We have mm -hmm. uh, the free uh, the free type and then we have the branded kind of emails. Okay. So this is uh, info at george.com or info at deepafrica.com. Yeah, mm -hmm. actually that's a perfect example. Mm -hmm. And then we have george at gmail.com. Okay. So you, you come up with a company and you're like, yes, I think it's high time people need to associate me with the brand I represent. Yeah, you're right. So uh, at this point, uh, someone will, uh, will be confused. Mm -hmm. um, why don't I do, probably I'm having a bakery mm -hmm. or yeah, a bakery, uh, Lucy Bakery, uh, Lucy Bakery. Okay. And I want people to associate me with Lucy. Okay. <laughs> yes. So... Some people ask, why is it important? In, uh, why, why don't I just do? Excuse me. Why don't uh, don't I just do Lucy Bakeries at gmail dot com, mm -hmm. which is free, than having uh, Lucy at Lucy's Bakeries dot com? Um, perception is very important. Yeah. And uh, people need to perceive you as uh, a stable, uh, established firm yeah, yeah so if you if you write on somebody else's name like gmail yeah. uh they'll see you as that yeah so it's important to use your own brand uh to communicate that i am i'm able I'm to me. yeah so yeah. it's important to have your own your own brand on your communication and also i, I think it makes you uh, people view you more serious people yes. take you more serious and people understand how important it is to when you're addressing them, anything related to their brand, it's important to like have that name uh, yeah. be like on the front tagline. Yeah. So it brings uh, some sort of professionalism. Yeah. Uh, people take your brand so serious. Yeah. And uh, I think this is one way that people will, um, the perception of, yeah. of your brand yeah. changes yeah. Uh, across all the social media platforms and yeah. also even with your friends. Uh, you tell a friend that, Please uh, send me an email at uh, Lucy Bakeries or Lucy at Lucy Bakeries will come. They're like, wow, uh, it looks uh, advanced, modern, yeah. and it has a different feel that is respectable. Yeah. Yeah. And to add on uh, to that, mm -hmm. um, the advantage the web has given small business, especially, yeah, it 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 has flattened the uh, the uh, play field. Okay. Um, I could be a multi big company yeah. and uh, I'm selling things online. Okay. Somebody else who doesn't have much, yeah. right, yeah. could open similar, you know, websites yeah. 
And when a user, you know, comes online, they can't tell. You know, they, they would buy from X and Y. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter how big they are. Yeah. So that's another advantage of using your name yeah. online. Yeah. And uh, that's one big advantage that they, they, the internet has given small businesses. Yeah, so yeah. You, you go as long as you're able to find what you're looking for yeah. to this particular company. Does not The scaling of that business does not matter as long as they're able to provide quality. Yeah. And uh, yes, because most of the time when we focus on physical locations, we tend to look at buildings. Yeah. We tend to look at um, interior designs. Mm -hmm. uh, probably it's you, you you're going to buy from what you're seeing and not from what you actually need yeah. so i think the difference is that online you'll be able to get whatever it is if you're able to showcase exactly what your clients need so they should be able to purchase the, the, uh, despite of the kind if you're a startup company mm -hmm. or you're already an established business right yeah, yeah. so yeah. so i think also another thing uh, that is important for us to talk about is uh, when someone is asking um, or on, on costing, uh, in terms of costing. For us, Deep Africa, we are value driven. So we don't necessarily look at cost, but what are the things you need to consider when someone tells you a certain amount? What, what, uh, how do you put price to value um, when it comes to hosting? I think you look at consistency. Okay. There are some businesses who whose email are very important. Uh, for example, the airline business. Yeah, yeah. You want to make sure that the email you've sent has actually reached yeah, yeah. the recipient, yeah. right? So you, you don't want to go home and sleep thinking if you, you, your, your email go to the destination. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> for Deep Africa, we we put all these things in place. Yeah. And we, we, we also price according to the value we're giving our clients. Yeah, yeah. And we are trying to make our servers as consistent as, as possible. possible. Yes. So we avoid overcrowding our, our servers. Yeah. We try as much as I can to, to make sure that the servers are up, up all the yeah, time. Yeah. So um, we look for such clients yeah. who value, you know, such things. Yeah. They want to forget about the pricing issues. Yeah. They want to forget about issues. Okay. They want to make sure that uh, you know <clears throat> everything they yeah, trust. Service, uh, they yes. have a guarantee that yeah. everything will run okay. I send an email from here to there. It's yeah. going to be received. Yeah. Uh, someone need to place an order. They're going yeah. to find me uh, online, uh, visible. Yeah. Uh, they'll not come to our website and then at some point I'm not available. My website is down. Um, it's important for such like airlines uh, yeah. to be 24 hours available yeah. uh, so that people who have urgent uh, travels are able to, to be able to uh, place orders, book yeah. for visas uh, or tickets, sorry. Yeah. And yes, yeah. so for Deep Africa, that is something we take so serious yeah. when it comes to our client businesses because we pride ourselves when our clients tend to excel. Yeah. So, and these are the small things that we do to your businesses to ensure that uh, they are up and running, you're visible 24-7. And that is the reason, first of all, the reason you come online is to make sure that people are able to find you 24-7 because you have different timelines uh, from other countries. Mm -hmm. So it's important if someone needs a service mm -hmm. urgently, they're able to get it. Yeah. 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 So I think that is something we pride ourselves. Yep. Yeah, we're doing great. That is something we pride ourselves in doing. And that's why we we thought about this in details and decided to have a 24-7 support system that is available to attend to your needs whenever you need them. So. What, what do you think? Is yeah, uh, well, um, it's okay. No, I want to add something else to the price we're talking about. Okay. Now, um, let me give you an analogy. Mm -hmm. uh, the way uh, Deep Africa operates. Uh -huh. Right now, we are shooting from Thika. Yeah. Thika is very close to Nairobi, about uh, 50 kilometers yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, you can decide to travel to Nairobi by bus. Yeah. Uh, we have buses called Kenyampia. Yeah. And this bus will leave uh, Thika. And make several steps. Yeah. If you had an appointment in Nairobi, yeah. you will not know exactly what time you'll arrive in Nairobi. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you use Deep Africa, it's like using Uber. Okay. You get your Uber and you can estimate what time 
exactly you'll be in Nairobi. Because yeah. you're, you're in control of uh, your, your trip. Yeah. And for Uber, you'll pay more uh, compared to the bus. Yeah. So uh, our services, I, I, I can equate our services to Uber, Uber, where you want to, you know, for sure, to know that you'll get to a destination whenever you want to. Yeah. And yeah. on time. On time, yes. On time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you have something else you'd want to add in terms of hosting or you feel our viewers need to, because I feel like you've uh, tackled uh, all angles. I think we've talked about the type of hosting. Yeah. We've even drifted away yeah. <laughs> from the type of hosting. <laughs> to make sure they understand, yeah. Yes. yeah. But if they have any question, they can yeah. call us yeah. at any time. Yeah. Uh, do I give the number? What you can do, if you need to get in touch with us, ask any questions, need to purchase anything, you have any concerns, uh, please reach us on 0712-500-500. 0712-500-500. Or you can also send us an email at uh, support at deepafrica.com. Support at deepafrica.com. We'll be happy to receive your call. We'll be happy to answer all the questions that you have. Yeah. I hope that we've given you the information that will help you uh, for the startup businesses. And even if you're having an established business, please get in touch with us. Uh, we'll be happy to give you more insights in terms of how to excel in your online businesses. And it's always fun being here with you and from us. Thank you. Thank you so much. We love you. Please make sure to subscribe, share this video. Uh, so that you can also help someone out there who needs this information. And it's a wrap. Bye-bye.